This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. Listen, these bad actors have hundreds of billions of dollars in shares sold, not yet purchased. And at this point of the game, I'm sure every single AMC investor knows what shares sold, not yet purchased means. It means that these entities like Citigroup, like Citadel, like Bank of America, they sell shares in the open market that they don't own. Okay? They sell shares, they collect the money for those shares, and then they put it on their books as shares sold, not yet purchased. And cumulatively, it's in the hundreds of billions of dollars. In any other industry, this would be considered debt. But somehow, with the Fugazi accountant in the, fi not the finance industry, in the stock market industry, it's not considered debt. So people ask me, do I think it's more? Do I think it's less? So I started to do a little research. You know, the DD they say we don't do because we, we close our eyes and throw darts at boards in order to pick our stocks. Do you believe there's three different levels, three different levels to how they determine the value of a stock when they're putting it out there for shares sold, not yet purchased? First of all, the fact that they have three separate three separate valuations tells you it's meant to confuse retail investors. It's meant to confuse retail investors. It's just another way for these bad actors to undermine the fraud and corruption in the market. Okay? And, and let's let's think about it like this. Let's think about it like this. Let's say they sold the share at $10. They're going to report it at $10 or they're going to report it at $5 because they think that's the value of the shares. So when they're reporting, say, $100 billion in shares sold not purchased, the actual market value could be $200 billion or 300 billion but they figure out a way to make it look as low as possible and it's still in the hundreds of billions because if they shorted the share ten dollars if it's currently selling at fifteen dollars they're not going to report it at fifteen dollars they report it at the value that they think it's worth so even if it's selling right now for fifteen dollars if they say it's worth $5, they're reporting it in their shares sold, not purchased at $5. So in reality, they're not down $100 billion in shares sold, not yet purchased. If you look at the market value of it, it's three times that amount. They're $300 billion down in shares sold, not yet purchased. They have the option of all these creative accounting principles that they utilize in the in, in the stock market industry and the purpose of it is to do what to rob retail investors to rob pension funds and to rob institutions that follow the rules and even with all the rules in their favor they still have to cheat to win I believe, and this is just my opinion, that the shares sold, not yet purchased of AMC, is already in the hundreds of billions of dollars all by itself. And the SEC knows, the DOJ knows, the FBI knows, and they allow it to go on every single day. They're doing nothing, nothing to try to fix the fraud and corruption in the United States stock market. And you guys know I believe it's a threat to our national security. I believe this is another way for despots and people who don't like our way of life in order to manipulate the market and put pressure on our economy. 
because they know, just like we know, that the SEC, the DOJ, and the FBI don't properly enforce the rules of the market. So if you want to go after the United States of America, you don't have to do it with bombs. You don't have to do it with, with you know, with, with things of war. No. No, you attack our economy. You 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 naked short stocks. You 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 go into our stock market and you engage in the same malfeasance that the one percent is engaging. Because you know there will never ever be any real consequences to your actions. The AMC naked shorters benefit from the fact that they control the SEC. They control the DOJ. They control the FBI. They benefit from the fact that even if they get caught, even if they're brought to justice, there will be no real consequences. There will be no real fines. It will be a small, tiny fine, a small percentage of the amount of money they made from the illegal activity, and then it's business as usual. The shares so not yet purchased is another scam, another tool they use in this Ponzi scheme. That's the United States stock market. Okay, how rich would you be if you could sell hundreds of billions of a product that you don't own, that you don't know when you have to buy it back, five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, and that's how these bad actors continue getting rich. And when... It gets out of control. You know what they do? They kill the hedge fund. They kill it. They walk away with all the money and then they open another hedge fund. Another week, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days later, they go on a little vacation. Then they open up another hedge fund and then they do it all over again. I mean, it's absolutely crazy what they're allowed to get away with in our stock market. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that hundreds of billions in shares sold not yet purchased is a good business model for any industry? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.